was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was so Greetings to our Spectre lecturer, Ms. Delia and our fellow classmates. My name is Nur Aina Shazwani Binti Arman and I'm presenting together with one Muhammad Azri bin Rohaizad. We both are from the Faculty Administrative Science Policy Studies. Today, we are going to presenting for the subject ALC 270, English for Workplace Communication, which is the presentation of organizational hierarchy. The companies that we choose is Air Asia and Malindo Air. As you can see in this slide, at the above is Air Asia logo and below is Malindo Air logo. Both of these airlines companies have status as multinational listed airline groups. Let's take a look at the background of Air Asia. Air Asia was established in 1993 and began operations on 18 November 1996. It was founded by a government owned conglomerate DRB Highcom and headquartered near Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Air Asia is well known as Malaysian low cost airline and even Asia's largest low fare, no freeze airline. In achieving higher profitability, Air Asia is constantly striving to improve profitability. Their focus is to further reduce costs, enhance efficiency, develop new products and continuously strengthen their uh, their brand globally. Air Asia offered to be the lowest cost airline in the world and achieve, achieve sustainable profitable growth over the long term. Now, let's talk about future and patient. Air Asia Vision is to be the largest low-cost airline in Asia and serving the 3 billion people who are currently underserved with poor connectivity and high fares. There are four Air Asia formal mission, which is to be the best company to work whereby employees are treated as a part of big family, create a globally recognized ICN brand, to attain the lowest cost so that everyone can fly together with Air Asia, maintain the highest quality product, embracing technology to reduce costs and enhance service levels. I would now like to move on and talk about the organizational chart of Air Asia. The organizational chart used by Air Asia is hierarchical structure. The top of this structure begins with the senior independent non-executive chairman Tan Sri Rafida Aziz and followed by deputy chairman Dato Lim Kian On. This organizational structure is useful in relatively organizations like Air Asia. It contains a direct chain of, co of command from the top of organization to the bottom. Senior management will make a critical decisions which are then passed down through subsidiary levels of management. In the next slides, my partner Wan Muhammad Azri will be giving a detailed explanation about Malindo Air Company. Hello, my name is Wan Muhammad Azri I'm here to make a presentation on the second company which is Malindo Air by explaining the background of the company first. Marindo Air has a become a successful low-cost airline carrier as they are best worth set in Kuala Lumpur, which is the international transit hub connection and has become the competitor to the Arasia. Generally, this company has a combination of amenities, services, and low-cost affairs that puts Marindo Air in the categories of the hybrid airline. According to Datuk Sri Najib Tun Raza, the name Marindo signifies a cooperative pact uh, between Malaysia and Indonesia derived uh, from the country names which is Mal from Malaysia and Indo for Indonesia. The National uh, Aerospace and Defense Industry Malaysia or the short term is NADI has on at least 51% of the share uh, while the remaining 49% is owned by the Lion Air. For your information, Malindo Air is the youngest airline in Malaysia because it was founded on 11 September 2012. As you can see in the slide, there is a picture of the office locate, uh, located in the Petaling Jaya, Selangor. Moreover, they become the first Malaysia airline to offer and uh, provide uh, in-flight waffle services to their customer. The ticket prices and other services are targeted to be not more expensive or not be cheaper than Arasia, just at affordable prices. As you can see in the slide, the, div, uh, the vision of Malindo Air is clearly want to position Malaysia as a regional transit hub. For the mission, Malindo Air is focusing on giving a good services and a safety travel with great security in order to convince people to use their services. Besides, they want to be known and operate globally 
through a maintaining quality uh, management by providing uh, the needs and the wants of their customer and as well as their employees. We go to the next part which is the organizational chart of the company. The organizational structure that used by Malindo Air is hierarchical structure. The top of the structure begins with the chief executive officer namely Captain Mustafiz bin Mustafa Bakri as the head of company. His assistant is to create, plan, lead, guide and integrate in the strategic direction of the company. Under the chief executive officer is Mahendran Lechifman as managing director in which he is directing and controlling all the business operation. He was responsible for four main executive director, namely the executive director public communication, me as the, as the executive director human resource, the executive director cargo production and the executive director safety promotion. Below the executive director is basically a senior manager that consists of five other people working with their respective field. As you can see in this slide, there are five similarities between both of these airline companies, which is Air Asia and Malindo Air. For the first category, which is the term of nature of organization, both of these airlines provide air transportation services. They also cover the destination flights for all over Asia. Moreover, both of these airlines face the same problem or situation due to COVID-19 pandemic that impact their financial crisis that led them to facing difficulties. Other than that, they also offered low-cost airlines towards the customers. For the type of company for both of these airlines is they are categorized as subsidiary companies since they both have a parent company. As for the differences between AirAsia and Malindo Air, we can actually identify through five categories. Firstly, in terms of their business class, AirAsia doesn't have a business class. It's officially called premium flat bird with the feature of the bed slope at angle to the floor, but there is no video screen and you need to pay an extra fee to buy their food. Unlike the Melindo Air has an actual business class, providing touch screen like a personal tablet with the latest blockbuster, TV programs, and games. Secondly, there are several destinations not covered by the other airline, meaning to say, uh, AirAsia is the only airline in Malaysia that covers a destination to Japan, New Zealand, and then USA. While Malindo Air, they cover Pakistan and Bangladesh. Thirdly, in terms of in-flight food choices, AirAsia has a low break menu with uh, several items to choose from, but chargeable. However, for Malindo, uh, food is free, but not many options. Fourthly, AirAsia main hub is in Akira A2, while Malindo Air is Akira A1 that is more luxury and has a better facilities compared to Akira A2. Last but not least, the parent company for those airlines is very different with one another, whereby the Tune Group is a parent company for AirAsia, while Lion Air is the parent company for Malindo Air. With that, let me end our presentation on the company profile. Thank you.